Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but I've been extremely busy with the summer semester, so you'll have to forgive me for that. I will try to be more prompt with getting the videos out every week. Um, I got a new camera, so I'm hoping the quality and the sound is much better. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to get into the video, and today we are talking about micro bio microbiology if you are pre-nursing thinking about nursing already in the nursing program you know this class right here everybody has to take it and it's super super hard super important so today I am just going to give a little bit of advice on how to get through this class. I got the A in the lecture in the lab for this class, so that turned out fantastic. Um, we had to get last semester, I took it oh, during my, um, what was it, spring? During spring semester. And um, it was a really fun class, uh, super cool, really liked it, but it was very, very, very challenging. And I actually took it with Anatomy 1, which paired very well with it. But, um, so yeah, so as you can see, I have tons of flashcards. Like, I live by these flashcards, and it's just like, like the shapes of different bacterias, and you know, formulas for like photosynthesis, and just really trying to familiarize myself with like the names and things like that and let me tell you something it doesn't matter what class you're taking I always say flashcards 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 because they are amazing and also oh, I have all of these notes Oops. tons and tons and tons of notes these are all for my micro class these are the learning objectives for every um, chapter. So every chapter I would get the learning objectives. I would go through in the book and I would make sure that I got every learning objective and that I understood it and I would, if I needed to, I would put it into a flashcard or something like that. And I did that for every chapter. And then obviously the regular notes just from, you know, class and stuff like that. You know, just regular notes. But, um, but honestly, I'm going to say that I don't feel that this is what helped me. Um, of course, it helped get the information, you know, you write it, gets it down, you know. But I don't feel like this was the main thing that was like, oh, I really understand this, I got it. I don't feel like the lecture or the notes really helped that much. I mean, the lecture was great and super interesting, but I don't feel like the lecture was the best um, thing about microbiology. I feel like you really just have to, um, sorry, I'm like moving around in my rolly chair, um, trying to be comfortable. But anyways, so uh, I don't feel like the notes, like you could read them over a hundred times, but I didn't really get it. Um, the things that helped me the most was going to the lecture and asking questions if I, I was unfamiliar with something. But then also, I have our textbook that we use. You might use this textbook. I know a few other schools have used them, but like I would go through and highlight any and everything that was important to me. But not only did I do that, when I would take my book to class, let's see if I can find an example. Here we go. When I would take my book to class, I would write in it along with what the professor was talking about or things that he would just put emphasis on that, you know, I thought would be more important than anything else and I felt like that really helped me because I felt like you can get lost in the chapters and you don't want to get lost in the chapters you want to get what is important and what this professor is asking of you you don't always want to 
try to learn everything because you know micro is important but there's so much of it that really doesn't have much to do with the medical field it's just about microorganisms you know so but that was another thing taking the textbook after i read i read the chapter before i went to the class then after class i mean then during class i would take the book and i would follow along with what i had highlighted in red and what he would say I would either like underline or I would write little notes or just little tidbits that he said. But the thing that really, really, really helped me with microbiology was this book comes with, sorry, it fell on the ground, this, which is, book is, Mastering Microbiology. So these came together. I believe the book was like I want to say it was like $260. It was really expensive, but I bought it brand new. You don't always have to do that. Um, I just like to, so I can write in them and highlight and keep them just for reference in my thing. But then this, this was so handy because online it has flashcards made. Like I didn't even know that I, when I was making flashcards. It has flashcards already made for you. Um, it has the lecture like an online lecture of some other professor and they condense the information into like a 10 to 15 minute lecture. So whenever I was driving to school and stuff like that, I would always re-listen to these lectures that they, um, they put on the micro, mastering micro online. And I feel like that is what really got the information to me. Like I had just tons of notes throughout the book, just like crammed everywhere writing I mean all I'm sure that all of it played a part into it but the biggest thing for me look more notes um the biggest thing for me was the, the mastering microbiology online because if I was walking my dogs if I was driving to school anything I could get this information and I can listen to it over and over again until I truly understand and retaining the information that they want so for microbiology my <laughs> biggest advice is repetition you just have to do it over and over and over until you're really understanding the concepts that your professor is asking you to learn. And I'm sure that the things that they home in on are different for every professor, but for my professor, he was very broad. Um, you know, some people, they go a little bit more in depth, but my professor did and he was very broad because we had a very diverse class. Not everybody was going into nursing. So he was just very broad with everything. So I felt like the lectures that they had online on the mastering microbiology i could just listen to it over and over and over again read the chapter read my notes write that just really become familiar with all of this information and that just it's, that really helped me I ended up with an a in the lab in the lecture so that was fantastic um and yeah i mean this is pearson yeah it's pearson it's a pearson book if you haven't heard of Pearson, which is crazy, if you're in college, you've probably heard of them. Um, they're, they're great. They're awesome. But yeah, so that's my advice for microbiology. Just repetition. Just read it, write it, say it, get on YouTube, watch some videos about it. Um, I have a lot of videos from Ted that we watched. A lot of videos from, what's the other one called? It's like... JPN or JRP. I don't know. I'll have to figure out what it is and um, find out for you guys. But this is our micro book and I can honestly say the biggest help was that online mastering microbiology and just listening to those lectures. Listening to them, reading those flashcards, just familiarizing myself with the material as much as possible. Um, I'm not going to talk about <laughs> any big topics or anything because, you know, I feel like um, that really probably wouldn't help, but um, like as you can see, like, I would go through and like there's a star by this, and like these are highlighted different colors, so like the orange was me at home and the pink was um, from when I was in class, so I just used a bunch of different, um, whatever it took, you know, just a bunch of different ways of learning, you know, visual, um, you gotta read it and see it and little videos there's tons of videos online oh that thing's called NPR that's what the videos are called and they have great videos but anyway so yeah this was my best advice my best advice for microbiology
and if you are pre-nursing, nursing, anything like that, and you're having to take that, this is a great book. I loved it. The online help was great. I know you don't get to pick your book, but if this is the book you're using, thumbs up. I got an A, so I was very happy. Um, so not only did I do that, but I was real big on drawing the things that I was learning. Like, I have stuff in here from lab, too. Like, this was one of our labs, and we were doing, we were giving our bacteria plasmids, so they would grow, but you see I'm writing down here, but then, this is just with some few short answers, but see, it makes you gr draw the growth that, you gotta draw the growth that you have and then like on the back of this I was drawing the um I want to say this is an operon but anyways I was just I just would draw things like whether it be like cell respiration or photosynthesis or you know like the lac operon or something like that I would just I would draw it and just draw it over and over and over again and get really familiar with it but I did take micro with anatomy one and I feel that they bounced off each other a lot and the pair was very well um well cohesively just to help me you know better understand and you know really get a grasp on this stuff so this has been my video on microbiology I know I just kind of rambled and blah 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 but that's how most of my videos are are lately so but anyways um so microbiology read the chapters number one read the chapters number two after you read the chapters bring the book with you to class and as a professor go along and make little notes in your book or write down the page in the section or whatever if you don't want to write in your book you know just get that information in your brain yourself and then what the professor is wanting you to actually retain from it. Number three, make flashcards. Flashcards are such a big help. I love flashcards. And if you have any type of mastering online, mastering biology, mastering microbiology, all of them have flashcards and they have all kinds of great stuff. Number four, definitely listen to online lectures on your way to school while you're in the shower whatever just any free time you have walking the dog listen to the lectures and number five my fifth recommendation to getting a's in microbiology would be repetition study 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 over and over beat this stuff into your brain i feel like you know if you could just hit yourself in the head and all the information would go in there, it would be easier. <laughs> but um, this has been my video on Mastering Microbiology. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. I think my next video is going to be about Anatomy 1 and how to get an A in that. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe.